The Shiba Inu ecosystem and community are in for some exciting times because the day we have all been waiting for has finally come. Shibarium. The Shiba Inu Layer 2 blockchain is now up and running. We don't need to go around in circles about this. Let's just get right into it. There is Shibarium here. Shige Doshi recently posted a blog on the ShibaSwap blog to announce the Shibarium beta testnet. The beta version is called PuppyNet because it isn't the final product changes will be made to the net before it eventually grows into the actual Shibarium. But the beta is now fully functional, and I'm sure many Shiba Inu owners are happy right now because, according to the blog post, this platform is without a doubt the most anticipated project in the Shiba Inu community. This beta test phase will take a couple of months, so keep in mind that the final product won't be out until a couple of months later. But until then, we can all use the beta version of Shibarium. The link is right there in the blog post and should also be on the official Ship Twitter page. So you should go check it out and probably start building things. Chitas also made a point of saying in that blog that anyone can build anything on Shibarium. Of course, whatever you build needs to help the environment and the community. But Shibarium doesn't pick and choose between builders. However, if you are looking for something more like special perks, some extra support, and what Shai Chitoshi calls a red carpet experience, there's provision for that. All you have to do is sign the form for Shibarium technology. If you wanted to be a validator on Shibarium, you missed the application period. Shai Joshi says that documentation will happen next week, so look out for that. But if you just want to build things, you can go ahead and do your own thing. Immediately. You just need to get some test bone, and you'll be good to go. You can start right now if you want, or wait till the end of this video because there are a number of other updates that Chido's revealed. For one thing, he said that chip burns will be tracked on Shibarium so that we always know how many tokens have been burned. This will start with the beta network. Second, the tokens you see on this beta network, the puppy net, are not real tokens. So don't waste your money trying to buy a lot of them. Instead, just buy enough to use on the Shibarium beta test. Netshai Shitoshi also stresses that it is important that you do your own research. Even right now, some projects will be added to Shibarium that are nothing but scams. The development team will try to get rid of them, but some of them will find a way in. So make sure to do your own research before you hit your wagon to any project. Shibarium has two official Twitter accounts, which you can find at Shibarium.net and Shibarium Tech. Make sure to check these two accounts for your information. Shai Toshidai said, and this is still true today, that many tokens and projects are being set up by people who aren't perfect, and many of them won't last. Dire before you do anything, and watch out for people who carry the banner but talk about other projects. Why don't you just carry your own banner? Let this be the first step in your own research. One more thing about Shibarium's release. Satoshi said that if you filled out the Shibarium technology intake form, you should get an email today. If you haven't filled out the form yet, keep an eye out for that email. Don't worry, it's not too late. The form is still accessible so you can still fill it. I don't know when the email will come, but you could check the Twitter accounts for updates. Now I know that there are different reactions to this launch and everything that Chai Shitoshi has said, so consider sharing your thoughts with us in the comments section below. You can also just go there to show how excited you are if that's all you wanted to do. One more thing to talk about from that blog, though. If you're in Austin, you might want to stop by the Shib the Metaverse booth. According to Satoshi, the Metaverse team set up an early alpha experience of the temple there. So if you are there, you might want to check things out. If you ask me, the pictures look really cool. Moving on, it looks like it's time for people to start speculating again about who Ryoshi really is. Even though Ryoshi, the creator of Shiba Inu, has been quiet since he cleaned up his internet tracks, people haven't stopped wondering about his identity. Recently, the rumors got so bad that Shai Chitoshi had to clear things up. Someone has been trying to get people to believe that Ryoshi is Sam Bankman's friend, the disgraced founder of the now-defunct F.T.X. But before we get to that, this channel gives away 100,000 SHIB every day to anyone who wants a chance to win. Just subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Shibano. Also, good luck. This channel now has a way to become a member. When you become a member, you can join a private group. Join me in a chat where we can talk about crypto gems. 
money, and success. Click the membership button to join. I'm sure you can see how bad it would be for Shiba Inu if Ryoshi really was Sam Bankman Fried. So it makes sense that Shaiji Doshi had to set the record straight. He basically had two pieces of evidence to show that Ricky was not SBF. One is that Ryoshi liked wrestling a lot, especially WWF wrestling. He chose gifs of people like Ric Flair, Macho Man, and Randy Savage. We even thought about getting Ric Flair for a ship commercial at one point. At this time, SBF wasn't even born yet, so how could he know how to step into a slim gym? Second, and more importantly, Ryoshi didn't like centralized exchanges, which was clear from his post, and he would never have run one himself. Dub footers do better. So yeah, what do you think? Are you convinced? Also, if you thought this was really helpful, please leave a comment and tell your friends about this video. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm, which makes it easier for me to keep making better videos. Anyway, speaking of Satoshi, he has unfortunately lost his blue tick on Twitter. We just found out a few weeks ago that Shaichitoshi had earned the blue tick. That blue tick was a good thing because it helped the Shiba and Yu community avoid scams to some extent. Given how important Chai Doshi is to the Shiba Inu community, many people have tried to scam the community by pretending to be him. However, if Shiba Inu owners looked for the blue tick and paid attention to the number of holders, they could be sure which account was really Satoshi's. We don't know why the blue tick was removed, but someone accused Shai Doshi of being a scammer saying that this is the reason the blue tick was removed. Shai Doshi did not take this lying down though. He replied to the tweet by thanking the people who have been standing up for him and telling the community to ignore the FUD. He also said that he had changed his Twitter name to include Kusama again, which Twitter will check. So it looks like Shai Doshi taking the Kusama out of his name might have something to do with the blue tick going away. This might have confused the people in charge at Twitter because they know the lead developer of Shiba Inu is Shai Doshi Kusama, not just Shai Doshi. But we don't know all the details. In the comments section below, you can tell us what you think about this whole blue tick thing. So, you might be interested in this news. The second biggest bank failure in the US history just happened. Silicon Valley Bank just went out of business, which is shaking both the financial market and the tech market. But it's also making the cryptocurrency market shake. Now, for better context, you should know exactly what Silicon Valley Bank is. According to Mashable, it was a commercial bank that largely served the tech industry. Tech companies and venture capital both banked with the company, which was more willing than other traditional banks to lend money to VC-backed startups that may have been lacking in cash flow. Read many tech startups. Unfortunately, the bank took too many risks on new businesses, and when the pandemic hit, it went bankrupt. As I said before, the collapses hurt many markets, including the crypto market. But stable coins have been hit the hardest in the crypto market. Several stable coins no longer have ties to the dollar. In fact, Coiness pointed out that Ust in particular dropped lower than it did in the wake of the FTX collapse. That sounds pretty scary. This happened because Circle, the company that issues Ust has more than $3 billion in deposits.